Okay, this is my first time na mag-grocery since the lockdown and ngayon meron na kaming community pass so isa na lang nakalabas per family to buy grocery or to buy something na gamot. So yun, itong uh, grocery na to, itong all day na to, hindi talaga to pinupuntahan ng mga tao so konti lang yung nag, uh, nag-grocery dito on usual day pero as I park, ang dami ng kotse nakapark so let's see kung madaming tao dito ngayon. out, di na ako dito mag-grocery. Sobrang haba ng pila. Um, I wanna check two other groceries. Isa yung Robinson's and the other one is yung sa Village Square dito. So, I'm assuming mas okay yun. Mas malayo nga lang. But, I mean, di naman traffic ngayon. So, let's see. done with the grocery so far. Okay naman mag-grocery dito sa village square. So walang pila. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. Going home na. That was my first time to visit a supermarket since the lockdown and uh, you could easily feel that there's some sort of urgency sa mga tao sa pagbili nila. Sa so, supermarket ngayon ay ang daming naubos na wala ng alcohol and mga sanitizing things. Tapos wala na ding egg ako nabili that time and halos ubus na yung mga instant noodles, ganun. So yun, uh, there's some sort of urgency talaga ngayon sa mga tao. Pero may nakasabay pa rin ako isang tao dun na parang, wow! Uh, so sinabi niya sa guard na pwede bang sumingit na lang ako kasi uh, alak lang naman or liquor lang naman bibilin ko and parang sa akin uh, as much as possible gusto ko lang ng tawanan and itolerate kasi parang diba toxic toxic na nangyari but alam mo parang yung ganung mindset or pag-iisip parang hindi mo na siya gustong i-consider ngayon parang wow 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 nasa serious situation na tayo and dapat isipin mo na if you go out pwede mong iris yung sarili mong health and yung health ng mga tao na nakapaligid sa'yo and yung health ng mga tao mag-aalaga sa'yo if nagkasakit ka so lahat nagbago within na stop it's been just a week and a half since yung declaration ng uh, lockdown and alam mo yun parang ang daming daming talaga nagbago tapos yung social media has been really toxic the past week and a half and yun, I already uninstalled yung uh, Facebook sa phone ko and wala naman akong Twitter so hindi siya problema sa akin and on Instagram, ang daming TikTok videos which is fine sa akin, hindi naman siya big deal So yun, if uh, yung social media isn't parang benefiting you anymore or wala na kayo nakukuha value, value, it's time to uninstall that to your phone. Tapos, yung balita naman, yung mga news naman na dapat mong malaman, it has its own rate of reaching you. So, uh, ako, I just check yung Rappler website every night. So, once na lang ako tumiting ng news, and kasi doon parang wala masyadong noise. So, I suggest na gawin nyo na lang din yun if you find yung social media very toxic. Let me just talk of how this pandemic affected me. And to be honest, I acknowledge na hindi siya ganun kalala. And if you have the urge to attack other people online, please just skip this video and come back again some other time. Pero if you have this uh, para open perspective na gusto mong makita yung opinion ng other people, just hang around. For the past four years, making videos has been a huge part of my life. It's therapeutic para sa akin kasi it's my way of expressing myself. And recently, I find myself na having a hard time taking up topics and ideas na I'm inspired to talk about. Recently, there's a lot of backlash on social media about income inequality and political issues. And I think it is an important topic. Kaya lang hindi ko siya alam kung paano gawin ng videos or how I could parang talk about it. So yun, if you have questions about it sa ganun sa topic na yun, kindly 
shoot them in the comment section down below and I'll try to reply sa inyo. Or pag hindi ako nag-reply sa inyo, I'll probably make a video replying to your questions. So yun, expect, uh, and expect me to answer those, those questions in the coming weeks. Moving on from that topic, a huge part of my weekly routine is to hang out with my friends during the weekends. And ngayon na wala na yun, I realized na ang laking factor ng mga kaibigan ko to my ideas uh, para sa videos ko. And ngayon, I'm trying to incorporate them in my life. And the recent idea that I had is to do a remote podcast with them. And yun, we actually made a podcast remotely and we had a lot of fun recording yun. So if you want to check it out, you can check it on Spotify. One of the things that resonates sa akin in this kind of situation is to be productive at home. Gusto ko sana gumawa ng home productivity video but so far wala pa ako system or wala pa akong routine na nasiset ko sa bahay namin sa ngayon. So that's probably one video na you could expect in the future. So yun, uh, once na I had a routine or a system set na for me to be productive at home, I'll probably share it to you. Another topic that I find interesting ngayon is yung uncertainty. So siguro lahat tayo natanong natin sa sarili natin, when will things go back? To normal and feeling ko no one has a definite answer to that question and one thing na pinalamis ko sa sarili ko this year is to visit my grandparents each month and so far na visit ko naman sila each month up to this month of March pero ngayon parang tanong ko sa sarili ko is when will I ever see my grandparents again without risking their health, ba? Diba? They are the most vulnerable dito sa pandemic na to and visiting them could parang lead them to have a serious illnesses and yun, parang having that kind of thought is scary para sa akin but I'm hopeful na matatapos din to soon and I'll be able to hug again with my grandparents. I wish I could end this video with a definite guideline on how to deal and cope up with uncertainty but I'll just leave yung link ng video ni Matt Diavella on how to deal with uncertainty. But no, I don't have that personal guideline all I have is yung hope and yung uh, positivity and yung mindset na the only way to get out of this uh, kind of slump or pagat when things doesn't go your way the only way to get out of that is to move your feet one over the other and continue repeating it again and again and again until makalagpas ka dun sa slump na yun and yun that's, that's parang all I have right now we're all in this together just do your part one of the things na gusto ko sana i-contribute sa inyo in this situation is to make videos that adds value sa inyo pero ngayon parang I'm not sure anymore if uh, personal finance videos still adds value sa inyo sa sitwasyon ngayon so please uh, leave me some feedback sa comment section parang what videos or what topics do you think might add value sa inyo in this kind of situation so yun parang help me help me help me help you one of the greatest things we have against this pandemic is yung internet even though hindi natin nakikita yung isa, isa physically ngayon uh, we have the internet to make uh, our loved ones feel our presence our community feel our presence na nandun tayo para sa kanila in this kind of situation so yun uh, take advantage of what we have sa ngayon that's it for this video if you appreciate my content please don't forget to hit the like button and if you're not yet a subscriber please consider subscribing to my channel that's it see you on the next video stay safe everyone bye bye